Hello and welcome back everyone. My name is Ezzy and this is Europa Universalis 4. This is my continuation for my con achievement run. And the last one, I basically completed all the conquest I need down here. So we are now moving west. And I think our next target Potentially, will be these miners here. Um, I think we. Okay, I have three years for that. We go after Crimea. QQ is guaranteeing them. Kandar. Uh, the Ottomans are, and I just, I just realized too, that we've been, uh, making some errors in terms of our governance. We really should be going for a lot more barracks to get our manpower up. In fact, these ones with these useless provinces will really... Yeah, we, we really need to get that up. I don't know how that affects regeneration, but I'm not sure. But either way, I think we should go after Astrakhan next. We will have to go to war with QQ, but I only think we need one. Do we even need any of their provinces for this? Yeah, we need all of their stuff. So if we go after them and we can neutralize QQ pretty quick, because I don't think they have that big of an army. But then I'm worried about if we go for them... Are they allied with the Ottomans? No, they're not. I'm worried if we weaken them that the Ottomans are going to do something about it. Timurids are allied with them. We are kind of blocked by alliances, which is really frustrating, but it is what it is. And the Muscovites just went to war with them. We go to war with Crimea. Actually, no, these... I'm, I'm, I'm silly. We can go with war with Astrakhan pretty easily, actually. So that's what we should do, like, immediately. Where is the... Okay, they're right there. No guy. We should be able to take this all out, actually, so... Anyways. Now, we did seize land... Which gives us apps reform progress growth, which is pretty good. Okay. In a couple of months, we will be able to... I don't care about these guys. I, I don't want to ally any of these unless we can vassalize them. I don't think we can vassalize any of them, so... Okay. Yeah, this will be a pretty quick one, I think. I hope. Man, Moscovy is just... Well, I mean, this is a ter... They don't have any alliances. Still outnumber them, and they're out of manpower, so we should be able to uh, go after them. And yes, I know some of you watching have told me, like, why are you doing all this when there's a patch coming up? I'm hoping. I don't know when the patch drops, but I'm hoping I should all be done by the time that it comes out. So I've only got like 80 years to get this stupid thing done, so... I don't know why it gives me this stupid diplomatic bullcrap one. It's such a garbage cost as belly. And the horde, that, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Why am I losing money? 
I think it's because I built a bunch of cannon. Should got war reps. Oh well, we'll get a bunch of horde unity from attacking. They don't have anywhere to run. I think you have. Do we have any good siege pips, or are we just completely starved of good commanders this way? Apparently. We have a two siege pip. Okay, we're gonna put you in there. And then it's probably the one over here. Actually have some decent generals, all things considered. We're gonna need to send him back and help with Muscovy. You know what we really freaking need is Renaissance. And it's taking forever because I don't think we own any of these. Well, it is what it is. You know who really worries me? Those are the Ottomans. We do outnumber them, but their manpower is just scary. Looks like we have... We need to figure out our freaking artillery situation, man. I need to put this on three speed. We're crawling along. We might be able to vassalize these guys. I'm gonna see where. Okay, they have a core. Gas them. Yeah, they only have a they only have a couple of cores, unfortunately. Definitely gonna go for uh, Uzbek after this. Might be a new army professionals. We spent all of it. Okay. Sieges are taken forever, naturally. And the attrition is terrible. Come on, these sieges. Trolling me, man. Why are the tribes mad? Oh, it's because their loyalty e equilibrium got messed up because I didn't wait. Well, they gave me the stupid manpower diet, which is freaking awful. Okay, that should solve the overextension problem. Ugh, I hate this is such a bad modifier. Because we have two failed agendas, and the, oh my gosh, that's so bad. So we're gonna have problems with them. Because their equilibrium is at um, yeah, the equilibrium's at twenty nine. And our agendas failed. That sucks. That really freaking sucks. And it's going to kill our manpower recovery as well. So we're going to have to sell titles. 
Uh, we can't until three years, so we're just gonna have to eat crap for like three years until we get that fixed. That really frickin' sucks. And our, our manpower recovery is like... And we're just got pissed off tribes, everybody's mad. And of course, it's right in the middle when the tribes were just loyal. Because they gave me a stupid freaking agenda. I hate this. I, I hate this so much sometimes with these stupid tribes. It's like I'm, I don't have time to wait that long. This is the first real... Okay, this this should fix it. Actually, no, this governing capacity one will fix it. Okay, we'll, we'll have it fixed in a year or so. Hold on, I can't. Okay. Whoa. I don't think it's such a big army. I guess they're all fighting me down here. And <laughs> we're still gonna beat them, what the frick? Sag. Yeah, let's let's try not to um, fail any more agendas. It's fine. I don't care. Professionalism means more manpower. Now we gotta go deal with this crap down here. Um. Yeah, we probably need. I don't wanna. That's a stack wipe. So. I'm very tempted to vassalize these guys. Gosh, these stupid freaking rebels. That's a big war that they're involved in. I don't know what happened with Russia. But maybe we'll be able to go for Uzbek and not have to worry about them. I'd rather not fight them if we don't have to. Okay, we got the tribes that, you, that crap dealt with. Okay, well if we've got governing capacity why the frick? I don't want to do that. Um, Zach, now that there's already a, already a brother culture, or whatever it's called.
I haven't played in like two weeks, so I'm trying to figure out where freaking governing capacity is. Oh, we're still over it. Even with the tribal land rights, we're still way the frick over it. It's frustrating. Okay, now we're making a ton of money. I don't understand this game sometimes. This national manpower modifier is pretty good though. Yeah, we really should go for that. And we should get the, we need the manpower recovery one next. Pretty much got this wrapped up. Rebels. All right, so peace offers. We're going to take all of Nogai. I think we should vassalize them. We're going to sep sue for you guys out. I don't care what the Ming does. So that's going to be full annexation. You're out. It's a good air. I don't think we need to, um, let me just double check. So we just need that. I don't really care what Gazamuk does. They can, again, I think I should just um, vassalize them and I could feed them a little bit of territory from these guys if we go to war. I really don't need to go down here. Yeah, whatever. I really don't want to mess around with... I mean, it, it is good having vassals, but I'd rather have a vassal I could feed a lot of territory, so I really don't care. I'm just going to have these guys give me money. I have a fair amount. War reps and money, and then I'll just leave them alone. I don't need to go down there. Have them release that little tiny nation. See, that's 83% war score. I don't get any money out of it. So I'll just have them release a nation. I don't care about their alliance with the Ottomans. That'll do. Then you... Full Annex. It's still Ming. I don't care what they think. And then we'll go for... Um, I don't need this fort. Ooh. Get rid of this. Okay, and now we should be able to get no, we have to wait another turn.
cattle. Hmm. That's not a bad investment. Wish we could get better, um, manufactories, though. To have 16 to get that one. We don't really have any good freaking resources. But this is a pretty good investment, return on investments. So we'll do that. It's not great, but it's not bad. Once it finishes, it'll be a nice little... Okay. There we go. That'll help a lot. Now we're, at a th we're over a thousand per month, so... Okay, what is... We haven't even... I don't want to ally you. You can have access. I don't care. Muscovy will join. But maybe they'll change their mind after a while. A good one. Oh, land maintenance modifier. Or army maintenance. This guy will mostly pay for, or he'll pay for like a third of his cost. And that's two military, so I'll take it. Eating a little bit of crap with that, but we should be able to. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. We need their loyalty anyway for now until we get this equilibrium thing resolved. Okay. So, I, Muscovy is not going to win this war. Like, they don't have any manpower. Oh, a con is so freaking bad. It's okay, though. How close are we to getting... Oh, that's unity. We don't have any issues with unity because we're always at war. gonna wait are they really just gonna I really hate Muscovy right now I guess we could get a bunch of money out of them oh boy what the frick happened up here Do we have any... Okay, what... So we have Muscovite and Shu. Okay, you guys get back down there. I don't, I don't know why Ming thinks that they have the... Yeah, they, they have 10 years before their truce even ends. And they won't truce break like me, so... Okay. Okay. 
I think I can get them to release... What is it? Sib Sib Siberia? Yes. And then I might be able to vassalize them. I don't want to vassalize Kazakh because... That's a whole can of worms. I don't want to mess... It's just a bad idea. Because then Kazakh will want my freaking territory. Okay, Muscovy is about ready to butt out. Um, to do this, we need to be ready to hit Calm, though. Cam, or whatever it's called. We're making a decent amount of money per month. What about taxes? Caracorum? That's a good investment. I'll do that. Just gotta keep investing in infrastructure. Oh my gosh. Nobody wants to work. Well, that's no good. I'm gonna have you go over here. Since you're my... I don't need a giant army to deal with them. Just gonna wait a little bit longer. I and mean, we, we want to make sure when we hit them, we carpet siege, or we just hit them from all angles. I want this to be quick and painless. I mean, there's no way Muscovy is winning this war. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> good for me, I should say. I don't know why they feel the need. Actually, it should be... Uh Either way, this is good for us. It doesn't hurt to, um... Okay. Do not... It's gonna tell me to freaking increase manpower again. And I don't want to do that. I'm not gonna summon the diet until that's gone away. That's a good one. That's a really good one, actually. We should be... Freaking drilling our troops when we're not waiting. I don't know why we're not doing that. Of course, if they land on top of us. So it's just Muscovite, Astrakhan. Astrakhan's down here, though, and some rebels over here. Come on, Muscovy, you're getting your freaking butt handed to you over here, and you still want to join this war. The freaking gall of these guys. Almost got this one. Centralize. Oh, we want to do retain tribal. That's going to be huge. That'll allow us to... Get a lot more states. I don't think we should seize land, though. Okay, very close. How bad is this war going for them, though? Of course, they all popped at the same time, because why not? Oh, look at our manpower go up, though. You love to see it. How close are we to, um... 863. 
how are we not going up? Is it just provinces that we have, um, is it governing capacity? Okay, hold on. Let's go. Oops. Okay, they will not do the stupid one. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh, they just want me to develop. And they'll give me manpower. That's easy. Chow Keek. They just want me to do... Spend like 150 military power. And then I'll get a ton of manpower. So that's good. You stupid... Right, whatever. Hold on. Okay. I don't know where these guys are going to go, so I'm going to go see if I can hit them first. Should have just stayed in Chengdu. Well, they can't go past Chengdu. I, I don't know why I didn't... Um... I don't care what Muscovy does. I can go... What is this war over anyway? Polish cons... Oh, Polish are just attacking them and want their land. Well, that's good and bad. If Poland and Lithuania get themselves super beat up fighting... Muscovy, I might be able to get into this area. And that would be freaking really nice. That's a good one. Okay. Oh, we still got rebels down here. Maybe I need to zoom out a little more. In fact, that's definitely... <laughs> I'm tunnel vision. It's so inefficient. Man, freaking life of a step lord is just putting down rebellions. I, I swear. That's all there is to it. If I can get... These guys are a vassal of Uzbek. I need to get rid of these guys. They're going to cause all sorts of problems. You know what I need is renaissance. <laughs> I know I, I've said that like a million times, but like, goodness gravy. Like, I'm going to get so far behind in tech and it's become so expensive if I don't get freaking renaissance. I need to get these stupid freaking buggers out of there. I also need to get used to playing at 3 speed, because otherwise this campaign is just going to take an eternity. We're getting a ton of money from looting, though. That's the, that's the one thing about being at war. That's good. I don't think we're able to... No, we're fine with our core conversions. down. We have another one. Everyone is just mad. I mean, not that I blame them. I'm kind of a freaking warmonger that has, it's constantly unstable, but it doesn't make it any less annoying. It's just war after war after war. God, it's already been a half an hour, this freaking game. Oh, 
maybe I'll let this run a little bit longer. Jom actually has a decent sized army over there. Should I be concerned? Probably not. Let's go get him. Nope, we're gonna try to run. Yep, yeah, they're gonna run. Nope, they're gonna get caught. So we're going to establish Sabir, or Sabir, or whatever the frick it's called. And we're going to see if we can vassalize and ally with them. We should do culture flips. How do we not have this yet? Oh, it's coming. Okay. God, we're almost a hundred years in and we're still not even close. I feel like mercenaries are the key to getting this. No, it's not even mercenaries. Like, I've been at war almost constantly. Okay, let's pull into Lithuania. Want to potentially pick a fight, which I'm okay with, because we can win. But. Okay, hold on. We want retain tribal history. And I want to do Muscovy. I want to do all these over here. Because I got the tech. Okay. Um, can we have it over here? Damn. Guess we can. That, that's such a low development one, though. Well, we are going to do this one. We are going to do this one later, so that should fix the issue. Nanjing, we don't need to do that. Whatever, I'm gonna deal with this later. But anyways, what's, um... We still don't have it. Not quite there. Okay, there we go. Um, it's a lot of gold. How many loans? Uh, if we if we take, uh, I just we need to get this. Like I, I'm I don't want to. We're already behind in tech. We've had to wait forever. We're making a decent chunk of money, so we should be able to repay the loans pretty quickly. How much do we need again? 
Okay, we need 1,600. So you take out three loans, and that should get us there. One, two, three. Okay, and now we should be... And what's the next one? Colonialism. Printing press, that one's 1550. Global trade is 1600. Yeah, we have 75 years. We're like halfway. I, I mean, I'd, I suppose we're still close to being able to do it, but uh, it's gonna be tricky. Not gonna lie. Nope, 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 nope. This is a decent one. I'll do this one. Nope, nope, nope. Crap, 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 crap. This is a good one. Eight sixty. I don't know how we're not going up in that. Maybe it's just cores. Yeah, these are all garbage. So we're, we'll wait until we get some higher development provinces. Anyways, we need to freaking get going. Holy crap! I think we're like forty minutes and we've done like nothing. <laughs> okay. Need to start paying off these loans, but we're making a lot of money from sacking and attacking towns, so... And the Timurids we need to go after next, so... That'll be tomorrow. Tempted to go after Muscovy for money, though. Just to balance the budget. Kind of a <laughs> stupid reason to start a war, but I am a horde after all. <laughs> it just squished an enemy stack. Okay. How are we looking? We're looking a really good. And, of course, Rebel City. Do, I think we need to go down here and deal with them, don't we? In fact, I know we do. This is not a good fight for us, but I don't care. These guys are at war with... Siege. No, don't do that. We want all of this, essentially. And we... That's why we probably need to go and attack Ajam. Ajam, or whatever the frick they're called. Where's my two siege shot? Oh, here you are. How many cannons do you have with you? You have one cannon. Who has all my freaking cannons? Well, these guys are at war. What am I worried about? Can we please chill with the stupid rebellions? Like, my goodness. We need to get a Jom out of this. They're just going to continuously be a pain in the butt. Well, he's got three cannons. Just send him over there. I don't care what they think. Stupid freaking rebels. Like, I've had enough. Oh, my 
gosh. Of course. Of course. After f Stupid. And we're negative stab. Great. Whatever. Whatever. What do we expect? Typical BS. I mean, this is what we wanted. I mean, we're not gonna lie. Well, these guys, these aren't even, these are rebel. What am I thinking? Well, take their capital, dingus. Okay. Well, now we're outnumbered over here. I don't care. Hey, Ming, why don't you, like, fall apart or something so I can get some easy money? Like, I've already beat them in four wars. And they're still just hanging around, and it's really quite frustrating. These guys will actually buff. I don't think they have any claims, though. <laughs> They have the coolest flag. I love their little flag. It's like a, it's like a wolf and a moon and a little um, horde thing. It's cool. I think they're, I, they're, I know they're playable. I think, I don't know if there's an achievement associated with them though. Do we have any cities left we can write or get money from? Get these bums out of this stupid war. Oh, yeah, it's a bunch of uh, it's a bunch of scrubs down there that Ming's just bullying, of course. This is a you know this poor. It's the thing is we're a large empire, but all of our lands are poor because we burn everything when we take. Okay, we need to deal with this. I think I lost a province this way earlier because I was negligent. Go over there. Speed this up. I guess we've done two wars. It's not a bad session. Navy tradition. Oh boy. Poland took a huge. Whoa! Oh no. They just blobbed y'all. Oh boy. Well, there's our next target. Oh boy. Okay, I think I can get you guys out now. Oh. Got a decent chunk of money out of. I guess if we take another fort. If we just take another fort, we can pay, they, they can pay our loans. <laughs> We're. We're step nomads. We don't build production buildings. We just declare war and sack and steal. <laughs> That's why it's my favorite. It's my favorite to play. The rebels are annoying, but the gameplay is unparalleled. Just bully everybody into submission and just eat the little ones. I love it. Oh, I'm so glad we got Renaissance. I guess the colonialism is still screwing us a little bit, but um. Ooh, that's huge. That's gonna like reduce our maintenance by probably a, a, 
a lot. Let's see. Yeah. Ducket and a half we're saving now. Per month. Everything's good. Oh boy, is this a mountain fort? They're both mountain forts. Oh, this is so stupid. I, I, whatever. I mean, it's it's another, what, another year max? And we get our loans paid off? I think that's a pretty decent deal, if you ask me. Oh my gosh. Can we just, like... Maybe we don't have to do this. How, are there any, do they have any high value? They actually, all of the ones around here are pretty high value. Just carpet siege, whatever. I don't want to deal with this. This is going to be our next war. I can already tell. Okay, do we have ticking war score with these guys or what? Why are they not paying what I want them to pay? Okay, can I get you guys to annul treaties with Uzbek? Nope. I did just stomp their armies again, though, so... Alright, Timurids. Actually, let's... Timurids is... Commonwealth is, I think, kind of weak now, though. Yeah, because they just fought a war, and I don't really want them to build up their manpower again, so... Okay, can we deal with them, please? Freaking babysitting. That's a good one. It's going to save me like another two ducats, but it's like I'm not really worried about finances right now. Still don't want to accept it. Just go squish them real quick. It's an 11 province there. They're not going to do anything. Mountains. Alright, just a couple more takeovers. And we're just gonna. T I think we can take all of this. And I'm not really worried about them. This is the we gotta fight Bengal eventually, which is. I guess they're all beat up down here. So. But I'm not Timurids, and this is just going to be a mess down here. We're going to have to fight the Ottomans eventually, but. All right, let me see. Okay, you will take that and give me a ton of money. Okay, you guys. We need to take all of this, and it might be a huge war score thing. And... Yeah, it's going to piss off a bunch of people. The Ming and the Timurids might coalition. Let them. I... That's a pretty nasty coalition, though, but, like, we can't be, um... We can't be playing timid when we're a horde. Let me see. Yeah, we need all of that. Like, we, we still have so freaking far to go. 
Like, we still gotta go into freaking... All the way into Lithuania, but we should be able to do that in one more. And then we gotta get Cr Cr Crimea. And they're probably... That's gonna be a whole deal. That'll probably be our next one. We need to do that. I'm worried the Ottomans are gonna grab them. Well, I'm just worried about the Ottomans in general, because they, once they once they go to war with Mamluks, well, once they go to war with Mamluks, we'll attack Crimea, grab this territory, and then go after them and take this crap, and then we won't have to fight them again. Might even be able to get an alliance later down the line. Cause I, I, I just that, that's always the big war that I always have to do. So, anyways, we're almost an hour in. Um, I'm gonna accept this peace offer. We might have a, a coalition. In fact, I'm pretty sure we will. And it's gonna be nasty because Ming and Timurids are together. Uzbek is weak. I don't care about any of this. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not worried. Ming and Termids will be a nasty coalition, but Korea doesn't care, and they won't be involved, and I'd rather deal with the Timurids and the Ming than the Ming and the Korea, uh, Koreans, so. Okay. I think we're pretty much done raising at this point. And we, st it's still good. But it's not as good. And I want to get to a thousand developments so we can get that extra governing capacity. We keep just torching everything. Doesn't really do us a lot of good, does it? Whatever. It's, it's not as good as it used to be, though. But anyway, that's all I'm going to do. Gosh, we invested in administration. Okay. I think we'll call it a day. Our overextension is going to be awful. Um, we're going to have coalition problems. We might just go for Timurids. I think they have claims on some of this, though, but maybe not. Let me just see. Oh, we need to pay loans. Okay. All right, we're looking pretty good. We're, I think we're back up to third military. Well, we need to, um, yeah, I think this is looking good. All right, I'm going to stop here. Uh, I should be able to do another one tomorrow. Okay, we need to deal with that. Now I'll stop. Okay, well, we don't, there's not as much border gore, so that's good. That's always good. And we prosecuted two successful wars, including the big one. So now we have the Timurids to deal with, which I'm not worried about because we're vastly way stronger than them. We have these guys to deal with, which will be probably one or two wars. The challenge is always is going to be the Commonwealth. I think that'll be our next war, it's honestly, because we have... We just need to take one city from them. And once the Ottomans go to war with the Mamluks, we're going to go to war. We're going to wait for that. So we really need to keep an eye over here. But anyways, we're about an hour in. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.